Hello everyone, it's Vika again with a new video. In today's video I will be talking about how to get an Imkando Metak. As you know the Imkando Metak is an augmentable metak which requires 80 Harilogi to use. But in reality you need to have at least 81 with boost or 83 without boost to get it. For making an Imkando Metak you need to combine a Dragon Metak which you can get from Big Game Hunter Minigame as well as a chunk of Incando Metal, Lump of Incando Metal, Shard of Incando Metal and Slice of Incando Metal. All of the Incando Metal pieces are found within the Warforged Dig site. I also have to mention that the Incando Fragments which are used to create the Incando Pickaxe won't work, also there is no quest required to get the pieces. If you would like to boost your Aherlogy level by 2, you need to use Cup of Soil Tea. So you will need a fiery brimstone, ancient gravel, salt or mud, aerated sediment and earthen clay. I would recommend that you fill up your soil box with 100 of each soil that will make your process a lot easier. First you need to speak with Torgo, you can get here by teleporting to Port Sarin Lodestone and then run south until you get to the end of the island. You need to have with you a red berry pie, all 4 of Imkando metal pieces, a dragon metak and 1 million coins in your inventory to learn how to forge the Imkendo metak. Talk with him about the metak and he will teach you how to make one yourself. After you have finished talking with him, you should teleport back to the Warforged Dig site as next, you will need to get all 11 keys from there to make the Imkendo metak. The first key can be obtained in the initial crucible area. You need to excavate the gladiatorial goblin remains or any catches in the area. This might take you a while so don't worry if you don't get it right away. To get to the lower level of this dig site which is required to get the remaining keys, you have to excavate the barricade. So use your cup of tea if you are lower level to excavate it. After you have excavated the barricade, go down the stairs both ways and you will receive a new key in your inventory. For the Husamgarb key, excavate anything including material catches in the area of Goblin Dorm Debris. Here you will need level 83 or with Cup of Salty you can boost from level 81. You can find a Rakeshun key if you go through the Northwest Tunnel and after the cutscene a key will be placed in your inventory. To get the Saragorga key, you have to excavate anything in the area of the big Hyawar God Shrine. This will require level 89 or 87 archaeology. The alternative method for this key is excavating Mark of the Giza, Malachite Green or Warforged Bronze material catches. They are to the north and they require 76 archaeology. The next key is Garagashan key. And you can get this key from fishing eel swarms or cavefish in the center of the area. The tor option key is just south of the place you were fishing before. For this one you will have to mine any of the cooper, tin or necrite rocks found in the area. The kalashun key can be found just east to the mining place. You have to go through the tunnel and after the cutscene the key will be handed to your inventory. The next one is Aida Tunki. This one is located just west from the mining place. You have to do the same as you did in the last tunnel. Just click on it and wait for the cutscene and you will be rewarded another key. If you go even more west from the last place, you can find the Naraga Shunki. Here do the same as you did in the last place. Just go through the tunnel and another key will be handed to you. After you have found every key, the last key is the Yorkogov key. The key will be inside the door, just try opening it and you will find it. If you have reached this part of the video, I would like to ask you if you could smash the like button to help the YouTube algorithm. Ok so after you have collected all the keys, you have to open the door and wait that it uses up all 11 keys. After that just enter the room. When you have everything done, we have come to the best part, making the Imkando Metak. Use the anvil in Tatman's Forge to smid the Imkando Metak using our Dragon Metak with all 4 Imkando Metal pieces. So here you go, you have made yourself an Imkando Metak, congrats! 
and good luck on finding all the pieces. Hope you enjoyed my guide. If you did, please leave a like and comment below to help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching. Bye.